Hi. The next transmission is dynamic lookup. So already in the last class we discussed about the static lookup transmission. In the static lookup first target will update the records. After completion of the execution the lookup table will update means the static cache will update. But in dynamic case first lookup will update means the lookup dynamic cache will update then the records will update in the target okay so I'll explain with the example with the mapping so here I'm taking the same source and same target okay yes I'm generating again table dropped and recreated create a new mapping here create this is dynamic lookup okay so first drag and drop source and targets so here create the lookup transmission the same process create this lookup transmission on target okay so in static just we drag and drop the first column the department number into the lookup transmission but here we have to take all columns from source qualifier to lookup because here we are checking each and every column okay each and every column if the record is present then we are checking the record contain any changes or not means update records we are checking using other columns so we can find out update records using dynamic lookup so first for clarity I am changing this columns in underscore src this one also So these are only input we are not using for any output from here so go to condition create one d one condition on department number so in port you will you have to mention the associated ports so currently it's uh, not enabled anything here because this is static lookup we have to change into dynamic first go to properties here you have option dynamic lookup cache and one more property so when you enable automatically it will enable two more insert else update update else insert insert else update means so we are passing records into the lookup cache first it's insert the records into the cache then it it will search for the updates if you mention update else insert first it will search for the update records then it will insert the new records into the cache so anything we can use no issue no performance issue okay so we change that property dynamic cache lookup automatically we will get one port here see new lookup row using new lookup pro we can find out which is new and which is update record so we have to mention the condition using that conditions we can easily find out which is new and which is update okay and here you have to mention associated port from the source d name and the final one is location okay department number of source equal to department number of lookup d name of source equal to d name of lookup 
location of source equal to location of lookup. So like this, if you have 10 columns, 20 columns, this is the uh, process, procedure. So we have to drag and drop all the columns from source qualifier to lookup. We have to give associated port for each and every lookup columns. Then apply. Okay. So lookup cache will update first, right? So that's why from lookup onwards, we are taking only lookup columns. We are not taking any source columns because already cache is updating. We are passing source qualifier values into here. So based on this values, based on the condition, the lookup cache will update. The latest record information lookup contain always. So that's why from lookup, we can take the values, the latest information, and we can pass it into the target. So before doing that, we need to find out which is latest and which is old, and which is update also. So that's why I'm taking a router to create multiple conditions, drag and drop columns into here. Here we have to create two groups one is for insert, one is for update. Means new records and update records. Okay. New record. And this is for update record. So new record condition, new lookup pro equal to one. This is Informatica provide, provide uh, that condition. Okay, so new lookup row equal to 2. Okay, so directly we can pass the values into the target table. So for insert, directly we can pass the values. But for update, we have to create one more transmission that is update strategy using update strategy only we can update the tables okay so create update strategy update strategy is also active and connected type of transmission so we need to pass the values into the same target but it will not accept multiple values into the same target so that's why I'm creating a dummy of this target, copy paste, dummy table. So we can treat both the same targets. So from here to target. So here we need to update the condition that is td underscore update this is the keyword okay if you want to insert any records dd underscore insert dd underscore update dd underscore reject dd underscore delete these are the four keywords we have update delete insert reject so now we are using this update strategy to update the target records Okay, that's why the keyword is dd underscore update. Validate this and save. Go to workflow. Create a new workflow here. Dynamic. Okay, target connection, source connection, and lookup connection also required. This both are same, bulk to normal, and this one is bulk to normal. And lookup connection also need to change. Scott. Okay, save it. Just for 
clarity I'm editing this name the main table this is the main target table so we can modify these names no problem so mapping have some changes so we have to refresh see okay run it so total five records we got from first flow means from first target these are the new records so from new records condition it passed into the target okay we can see what are the values we have New York, Dallas, Chicago, Boston and US so in the source I'm inserting a new record and I'm updating a existing record okay this uh, I'm inserting a new record here 60 okay HR department and this is in okay. update set Here I'm changing the department name D name equal to from New York to I'm changing UK where department number equal to 10. Okay, come. So one record inserted. 60 UK and one record we updated okay 10th department so run from here so see the output from source we'll get six records okay six records in that six one is updated and one is new so already in the target table we have five records the first record location is New York total five records we have just refresh it so see here the D name we changed into UK okay location or D name anything it it ha it contains some changes that's why it's updated this is the new record 60 so like this we can find out latest and update records so if it is not present in the target we can insert that record into the target if it is present in the target we are checking for the updates okay so the difference between static and dynamic the static cache will update after completion of the execution but the dynamic cache will update within the execution means dynamic cache will update first then target will update okay and one more thing the static cache will update after the execution that's why it's it will not identify the duplicates from the source table but the dynamic lookup cache will update in the same execution record by record if you got the same records means duplicate records from the source it will identify within the execution it will remove that duplicates okay so these are the two differences we have between dynamic and static lookups. Next, we can see the total properties of the lookup transmission and unconnected lookup transmissions also. Okay, thank you.